The Clash of the Titans, which one delivers better moisture with real numbers and real data? So I took my tool and I actually measured the moisture content at 15 minutes, four hours, and eight hours. And basically took from my baseline, what was the percentage increase in moisture for each of these products? And it was fascinating, but we are crowning one of these royalty today. Now for the basics, I did use the La Mer Soft Moisturizing Cream, not the Rich Cream. And for an apples to apples comparison, I did use the Augustinius Bader Cream. Now both of these are beautiful. When you put them on, they give you a beautiful moisture. They both, both leave you with a really nice satiny finish. This one has a little bit more of a moisture texture and this one absorbs like your skin drinks it up. But let's see which ones were able to really instill the most moisture retention in your skin, which, which is what we want in an anti-aging routine. Now, just for an apples to apples comparison, I actually did them at the same time so that your skin was in the same condition with the same type of prep and one side of my face was La Mer and one side of my face was the Augustinus cream. And here are the results. So the La Mer, after 15 minutes, increased skin hydration by 26% versus Augustinius Bader, which basically brought, increased your skin hydration by 24%. And you actually did see that there was a little bit more moisture kind of left over on the skin on the La Mer cream, but not by much. I mean, these are both beautiful creams. But by the four hour mark, they had both brought the increase in hydration to the 18% mark. So although the La Mer went on with a little bit more moisture um, at the measurement time, it actually, they both came down to 18% at the four hour mark. But at the eight hour mark on the longer term, La Mer tested at 15% while Bader tested at 12%. Am I saying that right? Is it Bader, Bader? I don't know, I hear it both ways. Correct me if you want in my comments, feel free. Now, because you've seen some of the other testing I've done, this level of hydration over eight hours is exceptional on both creams. So at this point, this is really a matter of preference, but we are going to crown a winner. So for this round, until I get to the rich cream, La Mer is the winner. We're crowning her. Royalty. So stay tuned for the next one. We've got some really cool tests coming up.